Josh Mackey from Militia MMA takes on Tony Lulin. Lulin, thank you. I was getting close on that one. Making his debut, and that's a tough debut. I to go for Josh, I mean, to go against Josh Mackey on your debut, that is a very challenging debut. I know there's been some some accolades talked about with Tony uh, Lou Allen, but, um, you know, Josh Mackey has a lot of time in the cage. He does. He's a very proficient wrestler. He, ta- he trains with uh, an amazing gym over at Militia, so this is a big task. Yeah, Militia went on that run there in Aries last year where I feel like they won 14, 15 straight fights. I mean, Mackey was a big part of that. I, I feel like yeah. he was running up three, four victories in a row. Um, obviously, his level of competition is very high. So to see Tony Llewellyn come in here, um, it goes mentioning, listen, this man is a BJJ blue belt. He is a seven-time gold medalist in submission grappling. Um, that being said, Houston, I, I agree with you 100%. To take on Josh Mackey in your debut, and it's short notice, yep. uh, this is going to be an electric contest taking place at heavyweight. I love when the heavyweight step in the cage, ready for this bout, going now to Lance Green. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your next fighter out of the blue corner, Tony Lou Allen. Again, Tony Lou Allen stepping in on short notice after Sherman Washington was forced to withdraw. Um, that was an anticipated bout, undoubtedly. It was, yeah. I was really looking forward to that. So, big props to Tony here, but... Again, not much tape, not much study. It is his debut. No, but you know, uh, actually, before the show started today, I was kind of kicking around, just shooting the breeze with my buddy Jeff Jankowski, you know, me and the juggernaut hanging out, and uh, him and his camp are actually talking to Lou Allen here, and I'm starting to get a sense. Listen, Lou Allen's coming down. He's one of these big, strong guys. He's barrel-chested. He's coming out of the mountains of Appalachia. Yeah, well, I was just mentioning, Lou Allen has not blinked the whole time he's been out here. This dude <laughs> I he is coming at me. No, he is ready <laughs> to go. Uh, listen, I'm, 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 I'm singing the man's praises here. The step yeah. in against Josh Mackey on short notice. 100%. Um, I, I'm just trying to give you a sense. This is a big, strong country guy. I don't think he's intimidated by Mackey's wrestling. Whether that's foolhardy or not remains to be seen. Yeah, he is a big guy. Right, please welcome his opponent, hiding out of the red corner, Josh Mackey. Josh Mackey, again, no stranger to the cage here at Aries. Yeah, no doubt about it, he is no stranger. This guy stays active. Um, you've probably seen him competing lots of times, but this is a good time for me to mention the Aries Fight Series on Spectation Sports. Brought to you by Drunken Ape Social Club, a community-run spirits company featuring some of the best whiskey and vodka on the market today. Scan the QR code to check out the complete DrunkenApes.com selection of spirits. Exclusively for Spectation Sports viewers, use the code BETMMA for 10% off of your purchase. Having a nice drink, watching a couple heavyweights throw down, courtesy of our friends at Drun- uh, Drunken Ape. That sounds like a great Friday night to me, and you'd be wise to take advantage of it, Houston. Um, I'll tell you what, the, the lower weight classes have electrified, but the heavyweights are yes. special, and Josh Mackey is a special heavyweight. Absolutely right. Josh Mackey coming in at 229-2 against Tony Lou Allen's at 250 and a half. Yeah, we'll see how that plays out. Yeah, absolutely right. A little bit of a height and weight advantage here for Tony. Ladies and gentlemen, this amateur heavyweight battle is set for three three-minute rounds. And it is brought to you by KGO Nutrition, always encouraging you to just keep going. Introducing first, he's fighting out of the blue corner. He steps into the cage tonight at a height of 6 feet and 2 inches. Weighing in at 250 and 1 half pounds. He trains with Hosmer Jiu-Jitsu Academy. And he fights out of Knoxville, Tennessee. And tonight in the Aries Fight Series cage, he makes his amateur debut. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you. Across the cage and fighting out of the red corner. He steps into the cage tonight with a record of three wins and two losses. His height, five feet, 11 inches, having weighed in at 229.2 pounds. 
He trains with Militia MMA and he fights out of Chattanooga, Tennessee. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Josh Mackey! Houston, I'm getting a look at Mackey. He looks cool as a cucumber as we can expect, right? Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, you know, in the UFC, there's a fighter named Don't Blink, Kai Kara France. That nickname might go to Tony, Tony Luau. I don't think Tony's blinked since he walked no, into the door. I think he's taking this all in. You know, this is his debut. He's You're got right. an intense gaze, though. Seven he man. does. Man, he looks... Look at him. He's... I mean, he's a big guy. He does look He does look pretty intimidating here. But Josh Mackey having a lot of experience. Well, we've seen Josh Mackey in a few different weight classes. I'm anxious to see how he does here. The heavyweight, boom, big takedown here in front of the commentary table as Mackey hunting for a head here. Oh, now Lou Allen wants to get a hold of a single leg. Wow, Tony Lou Allen. <laughs> Who else has got to get yeah. Lou Allen is strong. This is what I heard about the man. I heard he's Oh, really Josh strong. Mackey. Wow. wow. Showing Lou Allen what some Chattanooga wrestling is about. Good get-up game, though, from Lou Allen as now Mackey has the back. Houston, this is a high-paced heavyweight contest here to start things out. And I don't think Jack Mackey's had a lot of opportunity to show off some of his wrestling, and maybe this is going to be an opportunity for that here tonight. Yeah, last time we Ooh. saw him, he did score a victory Josh over Mackey Alex wanted Jones. him up. He said, forget it, just stand up, man. That, that Ooh, Tony's just looking for, for a home for that for, for that right, and you're not, you know, it's going to be goodness. hard to find it in Josh Mackey. <laughs> Mackey, oh. Mackey is landing every left hand that he throws, and Lou Allen is like smiling at him, trying yeah, to land dude, a bomb right. This you got to respect Josh Mackey a little bit more than this, I think, especially gotcha. at your debut. Not respecting Mackey is going to be a big mistake. Ooh, wow, we see the standing strength, though. Yes, Kimura. standing Kimura <laughs> attempt. That was an interesting slip. He still got the grip. He does. Josh Mackey, though, very strong to it, and and uh, obviously good positioning skills. Tony Lou Allen doing a good job on his on getting up and his stand up are great. Accept. He doesn't accept the position, nope. which is big for a debut fighter. Oh, Ooh, man, repeat. these are some big <laughs> takedowns. <laughs> Rinse and repeat. You hate to laugh, it's just I've really never no. seen two guys this big in person fighting this uh, this pace. No, absolutely right. And I, and I hate to laugh, but just the noise that these guys are making in this cage is we haven't seen that in a while here at Aries. And Mackey's definitely doing some damage, but um, yeah, we look like a he's vicious neck he's out, right yeah. Now. Ooh, man, oh that was gosh. bad. We got 50 seconds remaining here in the first. As Mackey's Mackey going for the back. for the back again. Tony doing just what he needs out of every position, just just to kind of squeeze out of it and escape out of what he needs. He's putting himself in a bad you spot can see here. The submission defense, though, he he, he is competing in the submission yes. grappling, uh, yep. you know, tournaments and. It's educated defense on the submission. Mackey is having trouble getting to the neck. Mackey's really trying to finish this up in the first. It looks like, ooh, that's a good spot for Mackey. Can he get under the chin or on the chin? It's going to be a tough choice. My goodness. Doolin's got to hang on for 20 seconds to get to round two, but Mackey Tony needs to let go of his... Oh, okay, I see he's, he's setting up uh, his... Uh, you know, we see Mackey cross his legs, so Lou Allen was trying to take advantage of that, but it's a little too late. And uh, Mackey's not the this kind of guy who can slip by doing that. Lou on. Wow, and now Lou anywhere. Allen is Tony taking Lou over <laughs> uh, Josh Mackey. It's like he's getting his Brother, neck what a debut. He's getting his neck cranked. He's got Mackey riding him. And it sort of felt like Mackey just expended so much energy. I mean, this this man, Lou Allen, is a beast. And I mean that it, it, with all due respect. Like, For real. It's a bit, it's a bit off-putting because... He's getting hit with left hands. He's smiling back at Mackey. He's, yeah, this dude is tough. He's like, getting caught in all these submissions that he's just not giving into. This might not be the most technical fighter that Josh Mackey has faced, but this guy is tough. This is a dangerous. This this, this Lou Allen is a dangerous individual. But look, he's like smiling. He is. Stuff, he still smiling. has his grimace <laughs> smile on. <laughs> I mean, this Golly. is awesome. And, 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 and Tom Delicchio in the Militia Corner here talking to Mackey. Mackey looks like we see him look, you know. this. He, he doesn't get too high. He doesn't get too low. He just no. continues to implement his game plan. He definitely won that round. But Yeah, uh, yeah, I agree with you. But the, the table started to turn a I little know. bit at the end of the first. I know. And Lou Allen is such an unknown. Like, can he? maybe he can just do this for a while, yeah, like, you know, yeah. For, for more than we're expecting. Well, I knew this would be a good one, but, you know, you see Mackey so experienced. It's a short, short notice replacement. Lou Allen is bringing the fight here. He is. 
Nice knee to the body there from Mackey. Another one that's right on the belt line. That is legal. I don't think these knees are really affecting Luella no. too much. I don't think anything's affecting oh, Luella. Ooh. That's a bad. That's a yeah, bad move there. Lua. Tough, tough spot to end up here. You wonder if maybe you got off balance. You do see the the leg sleeve on the left leg of Tony. Uh, I Island. think that could be. I think that that Josh is also really good at counterbalancing as yep. well. I think he anticipated that. You know, with these heavyweights, sometimes the takedowns are just not very fast. And I no. think Josh was a little smart to what was going on here. Josh in a good position here. Again, as he's on the back of Lou Allen, see if he can get under the neck here this time. That's tight. That's a, Even it's, if it's not a choke, though, the neck crank, but the, the neck strength, I think, of Lou, uh, Lou Allen is surprising right. us all. And, and one thing, too, about Lou Allen is he, his back, shoulders, and chest are so big. Yeah. That's hard to really get an established hook on that. But now he's in on a single leg. He's gotten Golly, to his feet. Who is this it. guy? I don't know. For real. <laughs> I really don't know. But he is a force here at heavyweight. I mean, he's giving back the arm. Wow. Right here in round two. And he's going to... He's making, uh, you know, Mackey's got to carry all the weight now. Of Lula, yeah, and that's, that's not an easy situation. Obviously, the amateur contest, you know, there's no... Uh, if you're looking to wager tonight or you're so inclined on the pro bouts, you are able to do so on BetMGM. That's for the main card tonight. Just strictly uh, an exercise in, in pontificating. If the amateurs had odds before this fight, you look right. at Mac, you see no. all this experience, you think, oh, this is a... I was thinking the same thing. thing. Like, yeah, I was... And he's looked like, like right here in the top control, Mackey looks like the favorite. But there's moments in this thing where you're yes. looking and and Lou Allen is dangerous, way more so than maybe uh, initially given credit. Yeah, and, and we didn't know how to give him credit for it because, <laughs> you know, it's a <laughs> debut. But, yeah, I agree exactly. I mean, when you look at Josh Mackey's fight and his time in the cage and you have someone that goes against a debut, but, man, that's a tough thing to ask for against someone. And to your point, he's coming in here as an underdog. Yeah, yeah. Well, we got about 40 minutes. I uh, did it 40, again. Yeah, 40, 40 seconds. seconds left to work here in round number two, and this is going to be uh, – a good visual if Mackey can maintain this position, but Llewellyn starting to build a vertical base again. Wow. And he's hunting that. Wow, Kenyon. he's got it. Extended. Oh, but good job. Mackey did a nice job of, of freeing his arm wow. there. Galicchio, Tom Galicchio calling for hammer fist from Mackey here in Mountain. I think that's the move. It doesn't seem like you're going to find this guy's neck. You just got to start hitting him with barrages. Yep. Utilize this top control to do damage. So, you know, we're coming into the end of the second here, and Mackey's, you know, finishing on top, but that was a tough one to it call. I mean, I, you know, I just think if Llewellyn had a little bit more striking. Yep. It seems like he's a little too willing to grapple, and he's actually giving Mackey some trouble in the grappling from his sheer size. If he just had a little more striking and a little more movement, I mean, obviously he's a he's a massive man. Um, yes. And this is his debut. You, you know, you don't want to be too hard on him because he's facing such an experienced amateur fighter in Mackey. But I do see a lot of potential here. Uh, Huge. Tony, That's Tony I just, yeah, I, this guy's really impressing me a lot. Yeah, get the get the word out because. In a division where, you know, the, the prospects, I don't want to say are few and far between. Obviously, Mackey is, is kicking kicking a lot of tail here in the heavyweight ranks, but Lou Allen could give some heavyweight fighters some problems. I was just thinking the same thing. I mean, this is a great division for, he, for him to be in. I think Mackey's... Ladies and gentlemen, let's cheer these big men into round number three. You have a lot of fighters that maybe, I don't want to say end up, but but end up in weight, in a heavyweight. Yeah. You know, and, but this guy... The heavyweight is his division. I agree. There is no other division for. I mean, maybe for super, Tony. super yeah. heavyweight. We have seen a few of those in the. It's been a long time, though. Yeah, it has been a long I time. I do love but. those super heavyweight contests. The cage crew, maybe not so much. Gosh, the Tony Lou Allen still with this grimacing smile. His hands are up. This guy's ready to go. This is one of the stronger debuts I've seen in a while, especially for a heavyweight. That was kind of a bizarre kick attempt, and Mackey makes him pay with a couple of quick shots there. Lou Allen hunting for a leg again. I mean, Mackey is good. We, we've seen Mackey a little fatigued before, but he always fights through it. And I know, I think Lou Allen is obviously a primary wrestler. Oh, look at that foot stomp. You don't see that very much. I mean, that's an old school technique. Yeah. That's like uh, some early days. Lou Allen does have kind of that old school vibe, too. I was thinking the same thing, yeah. He, he spent a lot of time watching UFC 1 through 10. 
Oh, he is looking. This is harder to do, though. Yeah, this against hip toss somebody. against McMackey. Yeah, this, you and see this more in women's MMA? Oh, the, the center of gravity, especially on a guy like Mackey, he's too too intelligent to, to fall victim to yeah, that. Yeah, and that though. was a tough mistake here at the coming into the third round. Ooh, wow. Mackey taking him down by his knee. I mean, that was an unorthodox takedown. Yeah, Mackey wants to end this. He's had the ability, too, uh, as far as position goes, I feel like to get some more damage off than he has. At, at this point, you're not going to find the guy's neck. I think you just got to damage him. Yeah, absolutely. Well, it, oh, excuse me, it, it is heavyweight action here on Spectation Sports. Aries 24, this one is delivering here. This has been a pretty wild contest. Uh, Luke Wilson has had all that he can handle as far as getting people's mouthpieces back in their mouth. But He again is hunting for this neck, and I think Tony Lallon is doing a good job of just scooting himself out of it. And I think that time might be better spent. Ooh, that was like a little bit better. Yeah, that Josh Mackey, Josh Mackey, Josh Mackey that has is, had enough of this. That is uncomfortable. Yep. But Tony Llewellyn is uh, still chilling. You know, I'm not necessarily a big power slap guy, to be honest with you. I, I'm really not. But, but, they think do, this well, is well, no, well, but what I'm saying is, <laughs> I know in, where you're going. <laughs> in power slap, they, they do these really bizarre neck strength training oh, to, okay, to, to okay. be able to absorb the shot. And from what I've seen of Llewellyn, the ability to withstand these neck cranks, um, he might be somebody that would thrive in that I environment. Think so. Yeah. And that is with all due respect. I mean, he's 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 really he's hanging tough here. Mackey looks like he's enjoying uh, a really dominant third round. But uh, good stuff for both fighters. Yeah, I agree. And this is again a hell of a debut for Tony Ooh, Ooh, That is blood. looking bad. I'm seeing a lot of blood now. Absolutely right. I don't know where that cut happened, but. Either Mackey is bleeding on the Lou Allen, but more likely Lou Allen has been cut. Yeah, Lou Allen strike. still has his head up on this uh, very much in this fight, and he's in a bad position. Nine seconds remaining here in the third and final. Tony Lou Allen standing up from this. He's going to end this fight on his feet. Golly, this guy is tough. Oh, wow, <laughs> what a fight, what a fight. Some of those uh, blows... Wow. Close to the back of the head. I'm glad that there was no, uh, you know, ladies and gentlemen, a death special there. thanks to our friends from KGO Nutrition. I'm pretty stunned. Sponsoring this fight. I'm pretty Thank stunned, and I think we're about to see Josh Mackey get his hand raised. Yep. Uh, and deservedly so. I mean, a, a fairly dominant performance in all three rounds, but. Uh, the newcomer, Tony Lou Allen, definitely made his way. I'm sorry, I'm on my phone. I'm texting a lot of people about it. That guy was nuts. Yeah, and I, don't, I mean, if he would have won, I'd say a star is born. But there's a yeah. character in the mix here with Lou Allen, and uh, we'll be seeing more of him in the future. And I'll tell you what, it is a big win, though, assuming that Mackey gets his hand raised. I mean, Mackey really just looked so comfortable. His balance, he did show some of the striking tonight. I think if he would have kept it standing, his left hand could have just bludgeoned the face of Lou Allen for pretty much an unlimited amount of time. But Lou Allen, what's a hell of a debut? I mean, to debut against Josh Mackey and go the distance against him? Yeah, no, listen, I, I didn't you see it coming, to be honest with you. I've seen, we've seen Mackey get guys out of there. We've seen Mackey completely just be dominant. But this was a pretty... Pretty spirited contest. Yeah, and I don't want to call too early, but I think Mackey got the first, and I think he got the third. I, I, oh, I'd give him all three. Yeah. Because I'm, I'm, I'm kind of expecting a Mackey unanimous. I'd say the uh, second, you know, maybe. But, yeah, I, I, the first and the third, well, definitely all, Mackey. All these questions will be revealed. Yeah, we, we've known to historically not make predictions. Right now, yes. Ladies and gentlemen, after three grueling rounds, this decision has gone to your judges' scorecard. Judges Lisa Doran, Harlan Bolton, and Johnny Stewart all see it with the same scores. 30 to 27 for your winner out of the red corner, Josh Mackey! Militia MMA racking up another W courtesy of Josh Mackey.
doubt they're going to be having a good time here tonight, all the Militia MMA fans. Yeah, happy to see Mackie take a W home for Militia. And uh, I feel like heavyweight's a, a comfortable class for Mackie. I know he took a little bit of time trying to figure out which where that was going to be. But, um, you know, great fight for Mackie. Really happy to see him back in action. And not to take anything away from Mackie's win. This is his night. No doubt wow, what a debut for, for Tony throughout. Yeah, no doubt about it. Uh, Mackie, uh, you know, one of my favorite personalities. Whenever I see militia fighters on a card, I'm thinking, where's the mayor bear? Where's the Matt Trump? Okay. I got to see these guys. Because they're always involved in such entertaining scraps. And this was no exception. This was a good one tonight. Unanimous decision victory for the Matt Man. He's making his way to the back. Houston, it's time for us to reset and uh, switch gears. Yep. This is not a heavyweight contest coming up. Um